In this video, we are going to know about a fatal disease typhoid, its symptoms, its diagnosis, its treatment, its causes and its preventions. So let's get started. Hello friends, welcome back to my English channel. My name is Agam Singh Sasodia. So firstly, we have to know about typhoid. That what is it? Typhoid is a bacterial disease caused by Salmonella typhi, which causes severe complications such as high fever, diarrhea, and vomiting in humans. It is a human-specific bacteria, which causes illness in humans only. There are lots of Salmonella species found, which cause problems in different mammals but this salmonella typhi cause severe illness with humans only it creates several complications because it live inside the cell not on its surface that's why our immune system not properly able to work against it and one more important thing is that when it enters in our body it first moves to intestine where it live for one to three weeks and after that it moves to bloodstream and from bloodstream it moves to tissues and the body cells that's why the symptoms come late about 6 to 30 days after exposure now the symptoms of the typhoid the first symptom that you can easily observe is the high fever or high temperature of the body which is about 104 fahrenheit or we can also say it 39 to 40 degrees celsius it's a high temperature for the body secondly the rashes rose red rashes will come on the chest and the abdominal um, these will come in certain cases not in all but that's also a symptom of typhoid fever now some general things that occurs in typhoid are weakness abdominal pain constipation headache and even in some cases vomiting and diarrhea also and in severe cases the blood also come in our fecal material that is because they live in our intestine so in the severe cases they create pores in our intestine that's why bleeding comes with our fecal material now the diagnosis of typhoid is done by checking the presence of salmonella typhi in our blood in our urine sample in our stool or even in our bone marrow this checking is done by uh, collecting the blood sample or the urine sample or the stool sample and making a serial dilute of it and cultivating on a agar plate of which the bacteria is suitable of uh, the salmonella is suitable of that type of agar plate is used and then the culture is spread or streaked on that agar plate and after that 24 to 48 hour if the growth comes such like that it is surely said that this person is infected with salmonella typhi and is a patient of typhoid. Now the treatment of typhoid. The only effective treatment of typhoid is antibiotics. For that you just have to concern a doctor for it. But for a general sake of knowledge, I will tell you a name of antibiotic that is ciproflexin that is used for the typhoid uh, in common ways. Is. In severe cases in which the intestine got many pores due to these bacteria and the bleeding is going on so in this case the surgery is required with the medication also the next level medicines are required for that and also the surgical patterns is to be followed one more thing other than antibiotics is that you just have to make your body rehydrated by drinking a lots of water so that your body get strengthened from it now the causes of typhoid as you know typhoid is caused by salmonella typhi so it occurs due to the spreading of the salmonella typhi through the fecal material of the human as the, the persons like him uh, do the excretion process near the river so this uh, material this uh, excreta or the fecal material will mingle out with the river water or the water source and uh, flows through it and uh, the bacteria the salmonella typhi also reaches uh, the water and flows with it that's it uh, now this water is used for drinking purposes in villages and many more many 
places uh, where it is used so this water contaminated water when drinken by some people that become infected and uh, become a patient of that in some cases uh, we use this water for washing our vegetables and fruits so that also become contaminated uh, we eat them and becomes ill with the typhoid fever and uh, this water is also used for making the food materials as you can uh, see in the market also the pani puri is the pani the water that uh, they made is not a purified water that water is of contaminated water taken from the river or from any pond that is infected with the salmonella typhi so uh, these type of foods also made to spread the salmonella typhi even the man who is doing that excretion work near, near the river doesn't wash his hand with soap or any detergent or any sanitizer he just come out by doing the work and uh, shake hand with other persons um, and due to his hand contamination the contamination goes to other hand of the normal person and he also become contaminated because of the transfer of bacteria now the preventions of typhoid the first thing that you have to do is you just have to drink a ro refined water a properly refined pure water you just have to drink so that these type of cases will not occur with you if the ro is not available you just have to boil the water up to its boiling point for at least 1 minute and after that drink so that this bacteria will kill up and uh, the safe water you have to drink okay secondly you just have to wash your vegetables and fruit with the clean water and secondly peel out them and then cook them to a high temperature and then eat so that the chance of this bacteria will be neglected thirdly you just have to eat hot foods in the market wherever you are you just have to eat hot so that this bacteria will be killed and that hot food you just have to use toilets for the excretion process uh, to remove your waste uh, so that this this excreta will not uh, um, mingle out with the water river water and, and spread to the whole river now the most important point that everybody knows but some of them apply it that you just have to wash your hand before the meal before coming from outside to inside or before touching to anything you just have to firstly wash your hands properly and after that you just have to eat the food what you have so this is all about typhoid i hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and if you have any query then you can ask in the comment box down below and if you have any friend that want that knowledge then share this video with them and if you haven't subscribed this channel then subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos such like that thank you so much for watching see you soon